YouTubers, Mike Martin's here, Mike Martin's channel, Home Capital in hot water again. Home Capital shares plunge after mortgage lenders uh, seeks $2 billion credit line as deposits decline. What's happening? Well, Home Capital is a finance company that basically lends to homeowners that can't get loans with the bank because either their TDS is out of whack, the total debt service ratio is incredibly out of whack, and basically they just would live off credit if they had to buy food. So a lot of banks forget that people need to eat and the cost of food is like three, 400 bucks a week, but they don't factor that in to their TDS. They should start factoring in food averages in TDS. I know it sounds nuts. Cell phones, a lot of things do not get added to TDS. But anyways, shares of Home Capital Group Inc. plunged 65% on Wednesday, today's date, uh, which is uh, April 26th, 2017. Uh, after the embattled mortgage lender said he it was seeking a $2 billion line of credit to backstep significant decline in deposits if subsidiary. Well, look at this, people. Let me open this page here, here in slow motion. Look at this. Look at this decline. Do, 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 in one day. Look at its massive decline. Look at that. Holy smokes. Boom. Boom, 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 boom. I can see a lot of high risk investors jumping on this, jumping on this real quick. High risk, high risk. Uh, the, the, anyone with half a brain would not put anything into this. But anyways, let's go back to the article. This is a big deal, people, because they're taking, they're lending money, they're very bad debt, it's bad debt, and people, they know they can't afford them, but what do they do, you know? Home Trust has seen deposits have dropped nearly 600 million in recent weeks as Home Capital said that exposes the withdrawals accelerates. The mortgage lender said that the term of proposed credit line negotiated with a major institutional investor would be a material uh, a, a material impact on earnings and would have the company unable to meet previously announced financial targets. Oh no. So basically they were caught this company apparently supposedly was caught doing fraud, lying on people's income. Once again, TDS. TDS is, is a nightmare when it comes to an underwriter position. When you're underwriting a deal, your TDS is, is and your CGS are the two things that you're you're on like stink on a pig to to underwrite and to approve a deal. Okay, and then sometimes you have to go back to the to the lender and say declined or pending declined because we need to know. We need his T4s, we need this, we need that, and then then a lot of lenders go ahead and start falsifying paperwork. Analysis suggests that the loan could come within effect as rates as high as 22.5% on the first billion. Home Capital said that non-building agreement in, in principle would be secured against portfolio of mortgages originated by Home Trust. So these are really, really bad, bad, look at this people. Look at this. This is bad news for the for the secured market. But not only that, not only that, not only that, but it's it's bad news because things start to trickle and fall apart. And once you start moving the joists from this from or once the foundation starts getting cracks, everything starts to sink. A spokeswoman for the office of the superintendent of financial institutions told the Financial Post on, on an email, monitor, we're monitoring the, the, the situation closely. I could picture these people with the coffee in their hands shaking, watching this thing decline. I could picture everyone around the water cooler. I don't want to get, I don't want to get in trouble for this. Uh, let's go hide in the washroom. You know what I'm saying? The development comes just days after Home Capital announced the executive board shuffle in an effort to reinsure investors after the Ontario Securities Commission accused the mortgage lender of misleading disclosure. That's a big no-no. And it's a big no-no on the TSX too. The uh, uh, allegations uh, relate to Home Capital disclosure following discovery that some loan applications contained falsified income information, TDS, what back to the TDS, what I'm talking about, after which the company cut ties with dozens of brokers in 2014 that were lying with the pay stubs. You should be in jail for falsifying documents. Millie Vanilli went to jail for, for, for frauding a signature and you guys are making fake music and, and these people are falsifying people's credit applications with fake pay stubs and fake signatures and fake t uh, uh, notice of assessments. Comment below, guys. I want to know what you guys think of this. I'm just hanging out in my garage here with my son Antonio, and we're having a good time. Hi. 
Comment below.